Hi guys, welcome to my channel before we get started. Make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. What is ecological architecture? So make sure to watch the full video. Though it has been around for a very long time, many people still think of ecological architecture as a novel idea. Every time humans expanded urban areas, they were conscious of the environmental changes they were causing. Whether it be a green wall on a single structure or the incorporation of green spaces as a city is designed, ecological architecture aims to preserve and enhance the natural features found in urban settings. Urban greening, which focuses on establishing green areas that encourage synergy between urban and natural surroundings, includes ecological architecture. Ecological architecture through time. Since ancient times, there has been ecological architecture a well-known illustration is the 12-century-old temple complex in Cambodia called Angkor Wat. With the help of a sophisticated irrigation system and hydraulic engine, Angkor Wat is able to water crops, reserve water for dry months, and heat and chill specific regions as needed. Angkor Wat's carbon footprint is smaller than that of a building whose materials would have had to be shipped there from other parts of the world since it uses locally obtained natural resources extensively. The environmental advocacy movement that gained prominence in the United States in the 1960s is largely responsible for the development of ecological architecture as we know it today. A number of things came together in this movement, including respect for the native. American way of life in harmony with the environment and opposition to the suburbanization and urban development that were spreading swiftly throughout the U.S. These environmentalists conducted experiments with living organisms to see how their way of life affected the neighborhood ecosystem. Design with Nature, a book about ecological architecture written by landscape architect Ian McCarg in 1969, highlighted the concepts that had been researched during the previous 10 years. Since then, ecological architecture has developed both technologically and culturally as the value of green space in the urban environment became more apparent, the 21st century saw a surge in green architecture. The 21st century's eco-architecture, a common architectural style that is harming the environment is being challenged by contemporary ecological architecture. The Encyclopedia Britannica reports that in the beginning of the 21st century, more than half of the resources in the globe were used for housing construction. Here are some examples. 16% of the freshwater resources 50% of all raw materials removed from the Earth's surface and 30-40% to of all energy suppliers, by weight, 40-50% of landfill trash deposits 20-30% of greenhouse gas emissions. Modern ecological architecture fights against the deteriorating relationship between the built environment and architecture that is currently at an all-time low. Modern eco-architecture makes use of design and urban ecologies to construct structures that cooperate with the environment rather than fight it. What comes after that? Environmental conservation and aesthetic considerations are two of the main factors driving the emergence of eco-architecture. As our understanding of climate change continues to grow, more people are turning to eco-architecture to mitigate the harm that future construction will inevitably do while also repairing the damage already done. The City Biodiversity Index is used by cities all over the world to gauge the strength of their biodiversity utilizing elements such as local biodiversity, ecosystem services, and biodiversity governance and management. In tandem with the rise of contemporary ecological architecture came an opposing architectural trend. Since the 1960s, there has been a dramatic growth in the number of concrete structures, whose construction uses a lot of water and fossil fuels. Green features enable the harsh architectural styles of brutalist and modernist architecture, which are less popular today than they were in the 1960s and 1980s, to be concealed and transformed. Cities are growing and climate change threats are getting stronger, which is putting the relationship between the environment and architecture to the test. Modern ecological architecture is now highly valued as a viable alternative to mainstream architecture because it is causing the earth such severe harm in the 21st century. Fortunately, cities all over the world are adopting ecological design through their urban planning principles and the introduction of elements like living walls and green roofs. So, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. Use the comments section below to tell us what you think about the video. Also, Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of all the latest videos.